Pagdating sa motor, madalas may mga brands na tayong nasa isip bago pa man bumili. Mga brands galing sa Amerika, sa Europe, Japan, China, at kung saan-saan pa. Pero wala pa tayong nakikitang motor na gawang Pinoy, di ba? Yan ngayon ang balak baguhin ng isang Filipino startup na hindi lang basta gustong gumawa ng simpleng motorsiklo, kundi isang high-tech at AI-powered na motor. Yan ay ang Lycan Motorcycles. 2020 nang mabuo ang all-Filipino na kumpanya na layong maging first Filipino-made motorcycle brand. The idea of Lycan came about when, uh, a few years ago na thinking kasi as a motorcycle rider, we are used to riding yung mga brands from from other countries, from Japan, from uh, China, and so on. And then, kaya matot na parang why isn't there any Filipino motorcycle brand or company? And is it because that we are already complacent about consuming or about using other companies' products or other foreign products? And then, or is it because we lack the resources, the capabilities? Because at least for me, Filip- Filip- Filipinos are talented, are great. Uh, we have the capabilities, we have enough resources, we just need you know, to find the reason why. Pero ang pagbuo ng motorsiklo, isang komplikadong proseso yan na kailangan ng maraming oras, tao at syempre, pera. Kaya nagsimula muna sila sa maliit. Nagtayo muna sila ng isang traditional custom motorcycle shop na naging bangko nila ng resources at data. To at least get a feel, a better understanding of the market, get to know Philipp- the, the, the Filipino riders' preferences, we started. I started a um, custom garage to get a feel of how the market will respond, ano ba yung mga designs that we can offer, what are the innovations, ano ba yung mga problems ng riders that they are facing. So uh, with that idea, we've been operating for more than, uh, more than a year, almost two years, more than a year. Na. And then, uh, doon, nakita namin yung mga problems, kung ano yung mga pain points nila. And from there, doon nabubuo yung solution. Pero ang tunay na plano ay makabuo ng isang high-tech na motor na kakaiba sa lahat. Isang motor na may sariling operating system at konektado hindi lang sa cellphone mo, kundi pati sa helmet. We turned uh, a motorcycle, a mechanical machine, into something, uh, we turned it into a device. Or at least we are turning it into a device through our proprietary patent-pending motorcycle operating system. So if we must smartphones, if they have and computers, they have operating systems. Our motorcycles will also have operating systems, which can allow for interconnectivity between uh, the rider, the rider's mobile app, the rider's smart helmet, and uh, in connectivity with us here as a company. Inside the smart helmet and the smartphone, uh, the mobile app, you have our Luna voice assistant. Siya yung nagiging assistant who tells you na, okay, uh, Jaggy, you, you have a maintenance coming up. Uh, Jaggy, you're running low on fuel. Maybe you should fill up. So that, that is what happens. Nagkakaroon ng verbal communication. Inside the smart helmet, of course, you also have yung, um, a heads-up display sa visor. So that's what we are integrating. That's what we are working on right now. Na inside the visor, you can see your speedometer, you can see your 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 tachometer, you can see your fuel level, you can see a map, uh, a GPS and an, a GPS navigation map, all on your visor. Sa ngayon, meron na silang dalawang prototype. Dahil na sa research and development phase parin sila, gumagamit parin sila ng existing parts at accessories para matesting ang kanilang mga design. Pero na-demo na nila sa amin ang kanilang voice-activated commands. Engine on. Engine off. Cannot be turned on by any uh, voice, any other voice aside from the voice of the owner. So it's equipped with machine learning capable of analyzing uh, voice recognition by its particular end user or riders. Sa ngayon, may mga ilang proseso pang dadaanan ng Lycan bago nila ma-produce ang una nilang high-tech na motorsiklo, app at helmet. 
we are wrapping up phase one uh, of our R&D and then we will be entering phase two which is about more on testing, testing stress, stress material, testing does the technology work. So we are expecting the next six months to be our phase two. But along the way, during the third, uh, second quarter of 2022, is our target to begin at least production, production of our motorcycles. And then by third quarter or fourth quarter, give or take, plus one quarter, is when we will be distributing our motorcycles, putting it out to the market. Marami ang excited sa konsepto ng Lycan Motorcycles at lalo silang nai-inspire dahil sa galing ng mga Pinoy designers engineers at tech experts na kasama nila sa kumpanya. We want to showcase yung talent in terms of creating, designing, engineering, technology, development. So we want to expose that. We want to expose that Filipinos can. Filipinos can and will if given the chance, given the resources, if given the right people, the right team. Pero gaya ng inaasahan, mayroon din namang mga hindi naniniwala rito. Para sa grupo nila John Andrew, hindi na sila nagugulat dito. For us, it puts a lot of pressure. It puts a lot of pressure, but it also raises our standards. It also raises our standards to prove that, to prove us right, okay, that we can and we will. So that is one of the good things about having those skeptic criticisms, mga doubts, kasi, you know, it gives us an idea na, okay, these people are concerned about safety. These people are concerned about parts. These people are concerned about and so on so on. Ang importante sa kanila, may mga naniniwala. Matapos daw kasi silang mapublish sa isang media outfit kamakailan, nagpahayag na ng support ang iba't ibang investor mula dito sa Pilipinas at maging sa abroad sa startup company. At malaki raw ang may tutulong nito para maisa katupara ng paglunsad sa first Filipino made motorcycle sa mundo. Lahat ng risk, lahat ng pagod, lahat ng opportunities na na-miss out just to make this happen. It isn't about business. It isn't about money. Yes, we need the money to make, make things happen. But at the end of the day, at least for me, it's about leaving a legacy. It's about trying to prove that I can do it. If I can do it, if we can do it, then... Anybody can do it. We just, we just have to take that one step forward and challenge the norm.